we can discuss about bacterial cell structure or ultra structure of bacteria in this video it's an important topic of pharmaceutical microbiology of third semester pfa in this we will discuss about different parts of bacteria and their role in bacterial cell as we all know bacterial cell are prokaryotic cell prokaryotic cells are the cell with out a true nucleus and the uh, genetic material in the prokaryotic cell are freely placed in the cytoplasm that is not separated from the other organelles present in the cytoplasm within uh, membrane and the uh, nucleoid is the localized region of genetic material in the prokaryotic cell now this is a simple schematic representation of bacterial cell organization or different parts of bacterial cells we have to draw this diagram whenever it is necessary in questions simple diagram only we need for uh, uh, explaining the parts as well as the role so let's see what are the different parts of uh, bacterial cell see the innermost uh, organ is known as cytoplasm in cytoplasm there are different organ like ribosomes and nucleoid without separating or without a nuclear membrane and some inclusion bodies are there in cytoplasm and out uh, outside the cytoplasm the first layer is known as plasma membrane and there is a, a space between plasma membrane and the next layer that is cell wall that is known as periplasmic space so outside the uh, plasma membrane that is cell wall and some in some organism outside the cell wall there will be another layer known as capsule and also in some microorganism some bacteria there will be an dotted like structure on the cell wall that is known as s layer and some external organs like plas flagella now this is an three dimensional structure of bacteria just to explain what are the different and where the uh, different organs organelles are present so as i mentioned before the innermost layer is known as cytoplasm in cytoplasm there is ribosome plasmid and uh, chromosome or nucleoid are present in the cytoplasm then outside the uh, cytoplasm the first layer is known as cytoplasm outside the cytoplasm the layer is known as cell wall and outside the cell wall the layer is known as capsule and the external uh, cell structures like uh, pillae as well as flagellae are present in the bacterial cell so these are the different organelles or parts of bacterial cell we can classify the parts of bacterial cell into two cellular component and cell surface component cellular components are the organelles which are present inside the cell like cell wall cytoplasmic membrane cytoplasm nucleoid plasmid ribosome inclusion granules and cell surface components are the uh, organelles which are present outside the cell wall like flagella fibrillae pillae capsule and slim layer and s layer so these are the different parts of bacteria now we will discuss in detail about the uh, each part of bacteria and their uh, role cell wall cell wall is present outside the plasma membrane and inside the capsule capsule is uh, will not see in uh, many microorganism uh, some particular microorganism only it will be seen so uh, it will be present in all the bacteria except mycoplasma let's see what are the functions of cell wall primary function is to protect the bacteria from osmotic lysis as well as toxic substances and also uh they produce the component that contribute the pathogenicity and if we are giving any antibiotic or antimicrobial agent major uh, site of action of many antibiotics are the cell wall 
so these are the three functions of cell wall now cell wall is classified into two according to the uh, gram staining characteristic of the bacterial cell if we are performing gram staining the uh, depending on the result that means if uh, final color is blue or purple that type of microorganism is known as gram positive microorganism if the color is pink or red that type of microorganism is known as gram negative organism this uh, color change or color difference is uh, is determined by the cell wall so now we will discuss in detail about what is the reason for this difference in the color even though we are using same same staining procedure for uh, the different organism for gram positive as well as gram negative microorganism so this is the uh, procedure for gram staining so first we have to take a empty glass slide and we have to clean it and air dry after air dry we have to inoculate with the unknown sample provided for us and we will inoculate that one and we will air dry and after air dry we will hair fix or means heat fix it after it heat fixing we will use the primary stain primary stain is crystal violet or gentian violet after keeping one minute uh, treatment with gentian violet or crystal violet we will wash it with uh, running water and we will add the modern modern is gram siding we will use gram siding here and after we will again wash with the running water and we will apply alcohol 95 percentage ethanol as decolorizing agent for the decolorization step and again we will wash the slide and we will uh, pour the counter stain or secondary stain that is saffron in. so if the bacteria is gram positive the uh, organism will give color blue or purple color in uh, microscope uh, in the slide and if it is gram negative it will give pink or red color so this is the uh, uh, staining procedure we will use uh, primary stain as a crystal violet for one minute then we will use modern iodine for one minute then uh, decolorizing agent alcohol or acetone or aniline for 10 second or maximum of 30 second then we will use a counter stain that is safranin or cardboard fusion 30 to 40 seconds so color of uh, uh, gram positive bacteria will be purple in uh, after the completion of staining procedure and red for gram negative bacteria so this is an another uh, pictorial representation it show what will happen in staining procedure so in gram positive bacteria if we are adding crystal violet it will make it blue both gram positive and gram negative in while using gram side in modern also it will show same color uh, positive but while using decolorizing agent alcohol or ethanol uh, the uh, gram positive bacteria will retain the color of primary stain and the gram negative bacteria will decolorize or it will lose the color of primary stain now if we are adding a counter stain or secondary stain safranin the gram positive uh, bacteria will again show the uh, color of primary stain that will be blue or purple but uh, gram negative bacteria will give red color that is the color of uh, counter stain that is safranin now we will discuss what is the reason for this uh, characteristic even though we are using the same stains crystal violet modern diet uh, modern gram siding then al uh, decolorizing agent alcohol and safranin the stain are same for both gram positive and gram negative and the time for the treatment or staining procedure is same for both gram positive and gram negative bacteria but the result is for gram positive bacteria it will be blue or purple and for it gram negative bacteria it's uh, red or pink now we will discuss what is the reason for that one so this is the basic comparison of gram positive and gram negative bacteria in this we can see uh, 
the gram positive bacteria we have a thick peptidoglycan layer uh, or mean thick peptidoglycan layer with the perisplasmic phase is known as uh, cell wall and uh, there is a plasma membrane and in case of gram negative bacteria we have a thin peptidoglycan layer and there is a uh, outer membrane which is composed of lipopolysaccharides and there is a plasma membrane so this is a primary structure of uh, gram positive and gram negative bacteria now we will discuss in detail about gram positive bacteria first then gram uh, structure of gram negative bacteria later so coming to the gram positive bacteria the outermost layer is peptidoglycan layer that is also known as murine layer it have an uh, thickness of 20 to 80 nanometer thickness and there is a space between peptidoglycan layer and plasma membrane that is known as periplasmic space and this perisplasmic space will secrete an enzyme which is known as exoenzyme and this all the uh, perisplasmic space and the cell wall is known as cell envelope including the uh, uh, plasma membrane is known as uh, cell envelope now coming to the detailed structure we have a thick peptidoglycan layer and there is a perisplasmic space then a plasma membrane plasma membrane we will discuss later now coming to the peptidoglycan layer in gram positive bacteria uh, uh, cell wall bacterial cell wall we have a thick peptidoglycan layer peptidoglycan layer in that we have two special acid which is Ticoic acid and lipoticoic acid. Cell wall will produce a negative charge because of the presence of ticoic acid and lipoticoic acid. The difference between uh, ticoic acid and lipoticoic acid is all uh, both these are uh, polymers of glycerol or rabitol joined by phosphate group, but Ticoic acid will be, uh, lipoticoic acid will be originated from the plasma membrane and it will pass us through the peptidoglycan layer and ticoic acid will be only joining between the peptidoglycan layer. So that is the difference between ticoic acid and lipoticoic acid. Now coming to the structure of peptidoglycan layer. The peptidoglycan layer is composed of a network of uh, chain in that there is a uh, alternative backbone of N-acetylmuramic acid and N-acetylglucosamine. See, one N-acetylglucosamine, then one acetylmuramic acid, again N-acetylglucosamine, N-acetylmuramic acid. So, this is the backbone of uh, peptidoglycan layer. So, this is uh, N-acetylmuramic acid and N-acetylglucosamine uh, uh, backbone. This is another N-acetylmuramic acid and N-acetylglucosamine backbone. In this N-acetylmuramic acid, muramic acid, there are four amino acids. Uh, alternatively, levo and dextro. So, in gram-positive bacterial peptidoglycan layer, on the N-acetylmuramic acid, there are four amino acids, L-alanine, D-glucotamine, L-lysine and D-alanine. And it is joined by a pentaglycine uh, linkage with uh, next backbone of N-acetylmuramic acid. So in this D-alanine is joined with L-lysine of next uh, backbone of N-acetylmuramic acid. So D-alanine is joined with L-lysine of uh, adjacent backbones. So this is the basic structure of peptidoglycan layer in gram-positive bacteria. The peptidoglycan structure is similar in both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. There is a ch small change. Instead of L-lysine, instead of L-lysine, here uh, we have diaminopimilic acid in case of gram-negative bacteria. Instead of L-lysine, we have diaminopimilic acid. And the uh, uh, joining between two uh, NAM and NAG uh, backbone is through direct linkage in gram-negative bacteria. So this is the main difference in uh, formation of peptidoglycan layer. So uh, 
it consists of two sugar uh, derivative n acetyl muramic acid and n acetyl glucosamine and in acetyl uh, muramic acid there are four amino acids uh, present uh, alternatively levo and dextro and first one is l alanine then the glucoglutamic acid then n lysine in case of gram positive bacteria and d amino pimelic acid in case of gram negative bacteria and d alanine so these are the four amino acid so let me explain in malayalam acetyl glucosamine and n acetyl muramic acid adjacent aayittulla reethiyil oru backbone aanu oru n acetyl glucosamine undu oru n acetyl muramic acid undu അങ്ങനെ ഒരു ബാക്ക്ബോൺ ഉണ്ട് അടുത്തതായിട്ടും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ എനസെറ്റൈൽ ഗ്ലൂക്കോസമിൻ ഉണ്ട് എനസെറ്റൈൽ മുറാമിക് ആസിഡ് ഉണ്ട് ഇതിൽ എൻഎസെറ്റൈൽ മുറാമിക് ആസിഡിൻ്റെ മുകളിൽ നാല് അമിനോ ആസിഡുകളാണ് പ്രസൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ളത് എൻ എൽ അലാനിൻ ഡി ഗ്ലൂട്ടമിക് ആസിഡ് എൽ ഐസിൻ ആൻഡ് ഡി അലാനിൻ ഗ്രാം പോസിറ്റീവ് ബാക്ടീരിയൻ്റെ കേസിൽ പെൻഡാഗ്ലൈസിൻ ലിങ്കേജ് ആണ് എൻ എസെറ്റൈൽ മുറാമിക് ആസിഡുള്ള മൂന്നാമത്തെ അമിനോ ആസിഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള എൽ ഐസിനും അഡ്ജസ്റ്റൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള എൻ അസെറ്റൈൽ മുറാമിക് ആസിഡിൻ്റെ മുകളിലുള്ള നാലാമത്തെ അമിനോ ആസിഡും തമ്മിലാണ് ബൈൻഡിങ് നടക്കുക എല്ലാ പെപ്റ്റിഡോഗ്ലൈക്കൻ ലെയറിലും അങ്ങനെ തന്നെയാണ് നടക്കുക ഓക്കെ ഗ്രാം പോസിറ്റീവ് ആൻഡ് ഗ്രാം നെഗറ്റീവ് പെപ്റ്റിഡോഗ്ലൈക്കൻ ലെയറിലുള്ള ഒരേ ഒരു ഡിഫറൻസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇതിലെ മൂന്നാമത്തെ പൊസിഷനിലുള്ള അമിനോ ആസിഡ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എൽ ഐസിന് പകരം ഡൈ അമിനോ പിമീലിക് ആസിഡ് ആയിരിക്കും ഗ്രാം നെഗറ്റീവ് ബാക്ടീരിയൽ രണ്ടാമത്തെ ഡിഫറൻസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇതിലെ മൂന്നാമത്തെ അമിനോ ആസിഡും നാലാമത്തെ അമിനോ ആസിഡുകളും തമ്മിലുള്ള ബോണ്ട് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഡയറക്റ്റ് ക്രോസ് ലിങ്കിങ് ആയിരിക്കും ഇൻ ഗ്രാം നെഗറ്റീവ് ബാക്ടീരിയൽ ഉണ്ടാവുക ഓക്കെ സോ ഹോപ്പ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ക്ലിയർ നോ കമ്മിങ് ടു ദ ഗ്രാം നെഗറ്റീവ് സെൽവാൾ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഫ്രം ഗ്രാം പോസിറ്റീവ് ബാക്ടീരിയ വിത്ത് ആൻ ഔട്ടർ മെമ്പ്രെയിൻ വിച്ച് ഹാവ് എ തിക്നസ് ഓഫ് സെവൻ ടു എയ്റ്റ് നാനോമീറ്റർ and there is a thin peptidoglycan layer with the thickness of 2 to 7 nanometer after that there is a plasma membrane and the space between this outer membrane and peptidoglycan layer is known as periplasmic space and it may vary from 1 nanometer to, to 71 nanometer and the total structure that including outer membrane and the peptidoglycan layer is known as cell wall so this is the basic structure of an negative cell wall now coming to the detailed structure so let me clarify one thing you don't ever try to draw this diagram this complex diagram in any answer paper or any notes we don't need any type of complex uh, figures in your, our answer paper let uh, draw this simple diagram as well as this diagram peptidoglycan uh, diagram also we can uh, symbol diagram also we can draw but don't try try to draw this diagram this is just to explain how is the structure of cell wall okay now coming to the uh, outer membrane it consists of a lipopolysaccharide membrane is there this is the outer membrane in that outermost layer is lipopolysaccharide uh, uh, layer is there in the outer uh, lipopolysaccharide layer there, there is a special protein known as porin protein which is arranged in, in a manner to form a protein channel or porin channel and there are some o specific child side chains are there in lipopolysaccharide membrane and some uh, brown proteins are there brown proteins which will uh, bind or which will bond between the perisplasmic uh, peptidoglycan layer and the outermost layer that is known as brown protein then the space between the outer membrane and the uh, peptidoglycan layer is known as perisplasmic space and then is a, there is a plasma membrane and this peptidoglycan layer is thin when compared with the gram positive bacteria in gram negative cell wall the perisplasmic space containing many protein which are involved in the, uh, nutrient acquisition as well as peptidoglycan synthesis and cell wall of rk which lack the peptidoglycan layer and which are composed of protein uh, glycoprotein and polysaccharides gram negative the cell wall is strengthened due to two factor as i mentioned before there is a brown slipper protein which will uh, covalently join with an underlying peptidoglycan layer and embedded in the outer membrane by hydrophobic end and there is an adhesion site the region of direct contact of membrane fusion of outer membrane and plasma membrane
uh, the difference in peptidoglycan layer as i mentioned before uh, in uh, in uh, there is a nam and nac in nam there is four amino acid l alanine d glutamic acid di amino pimelic acid and d alanine and di alanine of one nam molecule will combine with the di amino pimelic acid uh, amino acid of next nam backbone and this is direct linkage in peptidoglycan layer uh, the difference uh, with the gram positive bacteria is first one is penta uh, peptide link in case of gram positive bacteria and uh, instead of di amino pimelic acid we have l lysine okay so that is the difference in uh, peptidoglycan in gram positive and gram negative cell wall now uh, gram negative cell wall is more complex than the gram positive cell wall because it have an outer membrane consist of lipopolysaccharide and lipopolysaccharide have three parts a lipid a and a co core polysaccharide and o side chain lipid a part it containing two glucosamine uh, sugar derivative each glucosamine derivative containing three fatty acid with phosphate or phospho pyrophosphate attached to it and lipid a is buried in the outer membrane the remaining lipopolysaccharide molecule project from the surface now coming to the core polysaccharide uh, it is joined to the lipo uh, lipid a uh, o side chain or o antigen uh, the polysaccharide chain is extending towards from the core the sugar composition of o antigen vary depending upon the bacterial strain now let's see what are the functions of lipopolysaccharide layer in gram negative bacteria the core uh, polysaccharide have a charged sugar and phosphate hence it impart the negative charge to the bacterial surface and lipid a will stabilize the membrane structure and lipid a can act as a, a endotoxin also an antibody interaction with the lipopolysaccharide Uh, before reaching to the outer membrane protect the cell from direct attack from the antibodies so these are the functions of lipopolysaccharide layer of gram negative cell wall now in gram negative cell wall there is a special protein known as porin proteins so uh, the outermost membrane is more permeable due to the presence of more uh, porin protein uh, and the three porin molecules uh, will form as a cluster together and span the outer membrane to form a narrow channel through the narrow channel and the molecule with the molecular mass less than 600 to 700 dalton will be leaked out so that is a comparison uh, that is the difference between uh, gram positive and gram negative bacteria it's a frequently asked question as uh, the differentiate between gram positive and gram negative bacteria that time you have to write th these diagrams the difference in the gram positive bacteria is it is peptidoglycan peptidoglycan layer with a perisplasmic space and plasma membrane in case of gram positive bacteria and there is a outer membrane consist of lipopolysaccharide there is an perisplasmic space then is a thin peptidoglycan then and plasma membrane in case of gram negative bacteria and the difference in gram positive bacteria in thick peptidoglycan there is ticoic acid and lipoticoic acid but in gram negative bacteria is not there ticoic acid and lipoticoic acid is not there so that is the main difference now in case of gram negative bacteria there is a outer membrane and uh, it is not there in gram positive bacteria and in the outer membrane uh, it is composed of lipopolysaccharide and it have an porin channel that is also not present in the gram positive bacteria the porin channel uh, or porin protein is only present in the gram uh, negative bacteria and here it is thin peptidoglycan layer and there is a presence of brown's protein for the uh, strengthening of gram negative bacteria now the difference in peptidoglycan layer instead of di amino pimelic acid uh, uh, l lysine will be there in gram positive bacteria and there will be a pentaglycine in the bridge between next uh, adjacent nam and nac backbone in gram positive bacteria and in case of gram negative bacteria this is direct cross linking so that is the difference in peptidoglycan layer now this is an structure which will show uh, the uh, 
gram positive and back negative bacteria there is a presence of lipoic acid and lipoticoic acid and thick peptidoglycan layer and various plasmic space and there is an uh, plasma membrane here it is a powering channel is there and a thin peptidoglycan layer is there and uh, outer lipopolysaccharide membrane is there in gram negative bacteria so this is the main differences uh, the thick and homogeneous gram positive bacteria is always thick and homogeneous and gram negative bacteria is thin and usually trilayered uh, with the outer lipopolysaccharide membrane then a thin peptidoglycan layer and uh, plasma membrane and the peptide uh, the gram positive cell wall composed of 90 percentage of the peptidoglycan layer and uh, in gram negative negative bacteria there is only 10 percentage of gram negative uh, in the peptidoglycan layer and cell wall is rigid in gram positive bacteria now cell wall is uh, less rigid when compared with the gram positive bacteria come in case of gram negative bacteria um, beside ticoic acid there is a presence of besides the peptidoglycan there is a presence of ticoic acid and other uh, polysaccharide in gram positive bacteria beside peptidoglycan Glycan, there is phospholipids and lipopolysaccharide in gram negative bacteria. Ticoic acid is the main surface antigen in case of gram positive bacteria. Lipopolysaccharide is the main surface antigen in case of gram negative bacteria. These are more sensitive to wall attacking antibiotics. These are less sensitive to wall attacking antibiotics. There is no toxic property of cell wall but uh, the cell wall containing lipopolysaccharide which is an endotoxin in case of gram negative cell wall. So this is the difference between gram positive and negative cell wall. Now difference between gram negative and gram positive bacteria. So first difference is based on the staining property. So it will retain the crystal violet dye and appear violet in case of gram positive bacteria. It will not retain the crystal violet and it the counter stain color will be provided that is pink. And peptidoglycan layer is thick in case of gram positive bacteria. Peptidoglycan layer is thin in case of gram negative bacteria. Ticoic acid is present in uh, gram positive bacteria. It is absent in gram negative bacteria there is a space plasmic space uh, is absent in case of gram positive bacteria but is it is present an outer membrane is absent in case of gram positive bacteria and it is present in the gram negative bacteria lipopolysaccharide content is virtually none in case of gram positive bacteria it is high in case of gram negative bacteria Lipid and lipoprotein content is very low in case of gram positive bacteria. It is high in case of gram negative bacteria. There, uh, there possess two ring in basal ring of flagellate M and S and it possess four ring that we will discuss in detail in later. Then it primarily produce exotoxin uh, in gram positive bacteria and gram negative uh, bacteria primarily produce exo endotoxins. And it is inhibited by basic dye and usually not inhibited by basic dye. Resistant to physical disruption by high in case of gram positive bacteria. It is low in case of gram negative bacteria. These are resistant to sodium acid and the resistance is low in case of gram negative bacteria. Resistant to drying in uh, high is in case of gram positive bacteria and that is low in case of gram negative bacteria. Nutritional requirement is relatively complex in case of gram positive bacteria. It is very simple in gram negative bacteria and mesosome is present and rarely absent or rare or absent in case of gram negative bacteria. So this is the difference between gram positive and gram negative bacteria. So hope it is clear. This is uh, a small video which is uh, explained more about gram cell wall only. In next video, we will discuss about uh, the other parts of bacterial cell wall. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.